Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Tips and Tricks with Tiana, brought to you by DTG Connection. Today we'll be going over how to fix a simple, low resolution graphic using Adobe Photoshop and Illustrator. All right, so let's get started. So if you guys can see my screen here, um, this graphic at first glance looks like it's, it looks good. But when you actually zoom in a bit, you can see that the edges are really jagged. So first, we're going to check and see the resolution of this graphic. We're going to go to image, image size. So you can see that the width and height are very large in size, but the resolution is very low. Um, that's probably why the edges became up jagged like this. So what we're going to do first is we're going to change the resolution to 300. And we're going to resize this to more appropriate size. I'm going to resize it to 12 inches across because that's about the size of a medium sized plan. Once I do that, I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. All right. So as you can see, it didn't really fix anything, but we have a higher resolution to, in order to be able to do what we need to do. So next, um, what we're going to do is I'm going to color all of this in one color. I'm going to go to the layers right here, double click, color overlay. I'm going to change it all to black. Okay. Once I do this, I'm going to go ahead and save it as is. I'm going to go ahead and export it as a PNG. To test. And save it. I'm going to take this file and I'm going to open Illustrator. I'll open the file that I just created. So I'm using Illustrator for this because Illustrator is vector based. So it's very good to create straight, clean lines. Photoshop is pixel based. So you're able to change things to a point, but if you want really sharp, clear edges, usually working in Illustrator will be best. I'm going to go ahead and make sure that this is the size of the graphic by going to Object, Artboards, Fit to Artwork Bound. So now my artboard is the size of the graphic. Next, I'm going to click on my mouse, left click it. So now you can see the bounding box. So I chose the image. I'm going to choose this function here, Image Trace. I'm going to go ahead and click it. And I'm going to go ahead and say OK here. So as you can see, it's sharpened a lot already, but I want to kind of clean up these edges here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to lower the amount of paths. When you lower the amount of paths, that means it has less pinpoints. So it may start, you know, a pinpoint here, a pinpoint here, and I'll smooth it out. So I'm going to go less. I'm going to take the slider. I'm going to slide it down. As you can see, all of a sudden it sharpened up. I'm gonna do that again. I'm gonna leave it back here. So it's jagged here. When I lower the amount of path, it smooths out. So this won't work with every single graphic, but when you have something really simple that you just need to get sharpened, this is a really, really good way to do so. There may, is a lot of ways you can do this. Um, this is just easiest for me. So I hope this will be easy for you as well. All right, so I'm gonna take a look at it. I feel like this looks good the way it is. I'm also gonna choose the selection where it says ignore white. When I do that, you can't see the change here, but when you ignore white, basically it's gonna, this is all gonna be a transparency when I save it. I'm gonna go to file, save. I'm gonna save this to my computer keeping it an AI file. So I'm going to keep it called it. So I'm going to call it Neo2Test and save. OK. All right, so I'm going to go back into Photoshop. I'm going to close this one down. I'm going to open the AI file. Here it is. When you open the AI files, very important you double check the settings here. You wanna make sure it's 300 resolution, make sure it imports that way. Because it's an AI file, you're able to 
change the size to a larger size without it pixelating. So I want it as large as I want it to be. I'm, I'm going to change it to as large as I need it to be. So 300 resolution. I'm going to change the width to 12, just in case. I'm going to hit OK. All right, so we now we have a good base. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to increase the canvas size. So I give a little bit of room to add that outline that the graphic originally had. I'm going to image, canvas size. I'm going to enlarge the canvas by an inch on both sides, just in case. 16 here. All right, so now I have a little bit of more space here. So if you can remember from the original graphic, it was white with a very, very thin drop shadow. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to first double click the layer, color overlay, I'm going to change it to white. Next, rather than choosing drop shadow, which kind of puts a shadow at an angle, I want a nice outline all around, but I don't want it too solid. So I wouldn't choose a stroke for this. I would choose outer glow. I'm going to select outer glow here. By default, it's probably going to show you something like lighten and it'll have a white screen. You want to change for this particular graphic, I want to change it black. And I'm going to have it normal. So it gives me an outline. You're able to change the size of the outline and the spread of it, depending to your specification. I'm going to leave it like this. It seems pretty close to what the original graphic is. And I'm going to hit OK. Now if I zoom in, everything is nice, smooth, and sharp. I can go ahead and go to File, Export. Quick Export is PNG. And now we've successfully fixed this graphic. For more tips and tricks, please visit us at dtgconnection.com or visit us on our social media channels.